Hey there, I'm Gabriel from ContemporaryVoiceLessons.com and we're going to talk about how to find the head voice uh, specifically for males and lower voice females that have a difficult time accessing that more light and vulnerable sound. So yes, that's the first thing that I would recommend. To think of it as a sound and not so much as head voice because I think when you think about it as head voice you're going to try to do something called head voice and the truth is there's no such thing. If you think of your uh, vocal folds that are here in your thyroid cartilage uh, in your voice box and males they call it or just in your larynx there's uh, two horizontal uh, vocal folds uh, and they're very small they're about the size of your eyelid and these vocal folds can get thicker and longer thinner and shorter and any combination of length and thickness that they have a range of motion that they can do and depending on how they're set up and what sound you're intending to make they will set themselves up to make that sound it's similar to the eye so if i want to look past the the laptop i'm staring at right now and look at the wall behind it my eyes are focusing beyond it and if i want to look at the keys on the piano my eyes are focusing. So the way it works is I intend to look somewhere and then the eyes adjust to focus and be able to see beyond or at or before, wherever. The vocal folds work very similarly. They're incredibly responsive and reflexive if we allow them to. Um, and so when we think of things like head voice, chest voice, mixed voice exclusively, it would be like me thinking that I could just look um, far um, at something or near. And so then I only have three options, right? But instead of those three options, I we don't think about seeing. We don't take seeing lessons, right? Because we don't usually have a hard time seeing around us. I mean, maybe some of us do, but many of us don't. So um, we can look at anything we want there's so much to uh, look at and the eyes are so good if they're working well at responding to focusing to what we want to see so if you think of singing in a similar way uh, with range and notes it would be great instead of just having it locked down to three things like head voice mixed voice chest voice uh, falsetto and then asking what the difference between falsetto and head voice instead of doing that just throw all of that in the trash and think of it just more as like really old school way of thinking and just get a fresh take on it in perspective and think of it more as seeing um and and um just try that and see if that works better for you than having these very rigid boxes and then once you've tried that just have an intention of um singing in a very light reedy and easy sound something let's take the uh, vowel e right e uh, you can start with that you can just try to go e. now i know because i remember being younger and thinking about it in very complex ways that making that sound is not easy for everybody instantly because they might be very bound up and tight and complicated in the way that they think about singing. So, um, and it also, there might be a lot of tension here. So um, if you just try to uh, imitate animals, um, wee, wee, birds, or just uh, cartoons, or, or a, a car horn, beep, 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 and, and you get playful with it, that might kind of loosen things up for you. Because if you're looking for this thing called head voice because you heard about it and you studied it and you heard some master voice teacher talking about it or you read about it, it becomes very serious and then it becomes very difficult to gain access to just the natural ability of your vocal folds adjusting and calibrating to your intention. So I know this is a lot of talking, but I think it's really important to have a mindset that is conducive to this happening rather than having this mindset and that is just not conducive to allowing yourself to be free. Another thing you can do is just um, play around and go like just play like that and see if you can get that. 
And once you get some freedom around there, we There's that uh, cliche too that uh, voice teachers use, like the sound of Mickey Mouse. Hey, woo! And if your voice is locking up and it sounds funny and weird, don't give up and just keep playing with it. Just make sure it doesn't hurt. Make sure you're calm and relaxed and that you're not trying so hard. A lot of men especially, and guys, they try really hard, woo! And they blow a ton of air. So think of this. The, the lighter part of your voice, the higher part of your voice, the, the thinner part of your voice, has your vocal folds very thin. And I said they're about the size of your eyelid. So banging on them like they're, you know, a drum or just a, something really hard um, is not a good idea. You kind of want to be very gentle and easy and come at it from a very uh, just laid back and just kind of easy perspective. Wee, woo, wah, wee. Notice how nothing is like bulging up and I'm not doing it super loud. So I think that too, reducing the volume lets the vocal folds stay thinner and um, not trying so hard makes them kind of acclimate to that. Because just like when you're seeing, you know, when you're squinting like that, it's because your eyes aren't working really well and they need a little assistance. And your voice might need some crutches or assistance from like certain consonants like bing, 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 boo, boo, dee, dee, just to get kind of that flexibility back because you may have lost a lot of it from jamming your voice down to sound like a guy. Um, that's another thing. And one last thought, boys and girls sound very similar before they go through puberty. Um, and for us men, you know, the lamps drop significantly. A lot of things drop in us, right? And we become more testosterone and all of that. But then there's this social posing that we have to do where we're men. And that's when we kind of jam our voices down. And then we lose flexibility uh, with, the, with the voice and the vocal folds. So to get it back, it might take some time and it might take some lessons and encouragement um, to, to do that. So that's another thing. You can get a qualified voice teacher to help you uh, gain access to it and see if these perspectives help you. So um, yes, uh, let me know if that helped in the comments. And if you like this video, please give me a like and you can also subscribe to the channel. And there's a lot more videos coming your way and there's a lot more videos that have already been in the channel and just because something's old doesn't mean um, you shouldn't check it out because I think there's a lot of valuable information in my older videos. So uh, I hope to see you next time. Take care.